Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. Well, we are developing great Angular applications, but how can we deploy one? There are plenty of options to deploy our Angular application, but in this video we will focus on how to perform a deployment in AWS S3 bucket. So, let's get started! For this video, we will use a default Angular CLI application. So, if I go to the app component HTML, what we can see is the default generated code. And let's go to the browser to see what we have. So, this is the default one. But you know what? What we have to do is to focus on the steps we have to follow for the AWS S3 deployment. So, I will go to this tab, which is the AWS Amazon.com slash console and I'm going to sign into the console. I currently have an account, so if you do not have an account, please pause this video, create your account, and continue to see what steps you have to follow. In the search bar here, I will type S3, and from the results, I will select this one, buckets. So this is the list of buckets, and currently I do not have one and I'm going to create a bucket either by clicking this one or this button. Please note that the bucket name should be unique across all the AWS S3 bucket names, so make sure to select a name that is not something very generic because this most probably should be already taken. So I will create a bucket and I will define this name. Profani is my first Angular app. And I will select this AWS region EU. Please note that it is wise to select a region closer to your location to improve the performance. So I will scroll down, I will leave this default, and I will uncheck this one. I do not want to block all public access. I will further scroll down, and this is like turning off block all public access might result in this bucket and the objects within becoming public. Yeah, I know that this. I do not want to have a bucket versioning. I do not have any tags currently. And let's see if I have anything into the advanced settings, as is just create a bucket. So this is our bucket. So let's click this one and into the properties. Let's further scroll down. And here what we can see is the static website hosting. And this is disabled. So let's click the button edit. And I will enable this option. And here what we can see is that we have to define the index document and the error document. And we know that the default index document for Angular applications is the index.html. I do not have an error document, so I will leave this empty and I will save my changes. Since we have enabled the static website hosting, now we can see that this is our uh, domain. And if we click this, what we can see here is a 403 and we have to make this at least 404 or 200. 404 currently because we didn't upload anything. And uh, so let's try to fix this. But what is the problem? We can see here that this is uh, access denied. And the problem is that we have to grant anonymous access. So let's go back to the AWS console and I will click the permissions tab. From the permissions tab, we can define a new policy here. So let's click edit and we'll have to define something in this JSON format. But to be honest with you, I don't remember how to do this. Here we have a policy examples. So let's click this tab. And if we scroll down, we will see some topics here. The first one is like granting permissions to multiple accounts with added conditions. No. Granting read-only permission to an anonymous user. Yeah, this is what we want. So let's click this and I will copy this JSON object. And I will go back to the AWS console and I will replace this policy here. And we have to replace this resource, which is this one. So let's copy and replace it here. Please note that the slash and asterisk is here. Save the changes and let's give it a try. Let's go to this tab, which is 403 and try to reload. Nice. So. What we can see is now 404, which means that we haven't uploaded something yet and this is more than fine. And how can we upload? How can we deploy our application? Let's go to the objects. Here we can upload our files. So let's go to the VS Code and do the following. I will ng-build the application 
And what we want to do is deploy this directory, the content of this directory. So I will do the following. Right click here and open containing folder. And I will grab all of these files and I'm going to drag and drop them here. These are all the files. And if we scroll down, we can see here this button and let's click it. And as soon as we have an upload succeeded, we can go back to this tab and let's give it a try. Reload. And what we can see is that we have deployed our Angular application. This is amazing. These are the steps that we have to follow. But you might be wondering now that this is a manual job and the applications do not manually upload it. And yeah, you are right. We need to find out a more automated way. So have a look at the next video where I will explain how to automatically deploy the application into the AWS. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe and click the ring bell. See you in the next video.